true. All right. Well, you know, we saw uh, Mr. Kevy. Was it Kevy? Is that his yeah. name? Well, um, yeah, that was, that was Travis Kevy. Yeah, do his best to, to try to break through the economy. And the economy does seem to be making a little bit of a comeback these days. But for some people, it's uh, a little too late and a little little too, you know, too little too late. For, right. For Unemployment is very high in much of the nation, and families across the country are having to simply walk away from their homes. But where do they go? How do they feed, house, and clothe their families? Well, with the help of an organization called the Homeless Emergency Project, many of them are getting a second chance. Homelessness has always been a problem. People down on their luck, mentally ill, or just simply unable to support themselves or their families. But the Homeless Emergency Project in Clearwater, Florida, has taken providing and caring for the less fortunate to a whole new level. Bruce Fife is the chairman of the board. The scope of it now is we are a 300-bed facility, 110 emergency beds, 200 transitional and permanent supportive housing beds. Uh, we are always full. Uh, we have a wide population of children, families, veterans. 57 children, currently 110 veterans living in the program full time. The residents of this incredible complex consider themselves blessed. Some would never make it without their help and services. I'm single now with three kids, so being abandoned by your husband is a very difficult time too. And, and if I wasn't here, I think I would have probably lost custody of my children. The facility offers three square meals a day even medical, dental, and psychiatric treatment for those in need. There's also a 13,000 square foot thrift store that is open to the public and project residents are given vouchers to shop clothing and items they need. This, this little bear is a dollar. And this too? The store is run by this very dedicated and unselfish woman. Her name is Mary Shaw. Another satisfied customer. Mary Shaw was a gift. We, we believe in this program that needs are filled. And when uh, the original thrift store burned down and we decided to build this facility, Mary just found her way here. And she has been a godsend. Hey, Trudy. Good to see you. Hi, darling. My favorite feel-good place. Mary spent her entire career rising to the top of the corporate world. So why stop to operate a thrift store? Why? I don't know why. I, I came, I found this place. It found me. It just feels good to help people and to make them feel better that, that just because they're in a homeless shelter, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, they didn't do anything wrong or bad, or it's just circumstances, whether it be drugs, alcohol, money, addictions, well, you name it. But the step was made, they walked through our door, and now it's time to, to leave that behind and move on. The store is only stocked with quality merchandise, and it's all donated, with profits going toward all the other services the Homeless Emergency Project offers. Shoppers will find anything from books to records, appliances, and quality furniture. Silver, <laughs> silver plate, silver dish. Plate, yes. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. And that's the real deal. Items in need of repair are fixed and prepped by Mary's husband, Dennis, who says this thrift store is all about going green. What can't be restored is recycled in order that they might obtain a green official certification. We um, recycle books, we recycle clothing, we recycle um, metal, we recycle glass, uh, we recycle anything that we can think of that, that can be reused instead of thrown into a landfill. According to Mary, they have all types of plans for the future, which maybe include putting some of the more pricier items up on eBay. One of those special items could be considered this 10-volume set of the works of Edgar Allan Poe, published back in 1904. For Mary, Dennis, and all the volunteers who put in their time here, perhaps this poetic collaboration between Dennis and Mary best sums up what their work is all about. A wonderful day. Let me do some good today. Let me have something positive to say. Let me support another along the way. Then I've had a wonderful day. Let me erase a wrong. Let me comfort and make another strong. Let me add joy with a smile and a song. Then I've had a wonderful day. Let me make a burden less. Let me comfort someone in distress. Let me spread some happiness. Then I've had a wonderful day. Oh, 
I love that. Story. They, I tell you, they really do a wonderful job out there. Uh, Mary and Dennis have a wonderful daughter as well. Her name is Erin. She's extremely helpful at the organization. She's been volunteering for nearly five years. There she is with mom and dad. And uh, this past April, she was recognized as Volunteer of the Year. So congratulations to to her. And by the way, if you would like to donate uh, items or your time, they're always looking for help. You can give them a call at 727-442. 9041 or just go to our website daytimeonline.tv we'll put you in touch very nice yes thank you thank you for having us out there we appreciate it coming up harry